Keystatic just rolled out a new CLI that makes it ridiculously easy to start playing with the new project. Check this out, I'll type npm create at Keystatic and we're on our way. I'll stick with the suggested name and boom, my project is created. It's currently creating a brand new Next.js project, but I imagine we'll bring support for more frameworks or existing projects where you add Keystatic. So let's CD into our new Keystatic project and fire it up in VS Code. From here, I'll run npm install. And next, I will run npm run dev. It's going to fire up a dev server at localhost 3000. Let's go check it out. And here we greet it with a super simple but self-explanatory website. We have a homepage that mentions there is an admin UI and then we have a list of posts with just one post that we can click through to see that specific post. I like that the post mentions that you can edit the post from the admin UI or directly from the code. So let's do the admin UI first. I'm going to click on this link and I am now inside Keystatic. You can see here the slash Keystatic path segment. So let's go and change the post. This is super cool. And hit save. And back in the browser, our post has been updated. And now let's do it the code way. So I'm going to go in post, first post dot markdoc. I have the post directory here and here's the first post. And here once again, I will change the text to really, really cool. And once again, our post has been updated in the browser and of course also in the admin UI since this is reading from the actual markdoc file. All right, so let's take a really quick look at the code. This is a Next.js app using the new app router. You can see our homepage here. And it's using Keystatic's reader API to gather collections from the file system, here getting all the posts. Down here, we simply iterate over all the posts and then output a link for each post. And then in the slug page, once again, we use Keystatic's reader API, but this time we read a single post based on the slug, which is obtained from the page params. And since the post content is a rich text field which returns complex structured JSON data, we use the document renderer to render out this into nicely formatted markup. And if you wonder where those posts come from and where the fields are defined, well, this is where Keystatic comes into play. There's a Keystatic config file here, and you can see we're defining a post collection. Each post has a field schema, so you can see we have a title, which also operates as the slug. And then we have this content field, which is this rich text document editor. And we tell our post to go in post slash star, which is why they're being output in this post directory. And that's it. There is no database. Your content is stored on the file system where you tell it to. And your code base becomes editable. So let's duplicate this first post, second post. Let's change the title to second. And we'll remove this and say, you should have a play. And let's make the second really to be a bold tag. So now we have two posts in our post directory and you can already guess what will happen on our website. We now have two posts in our list. Here's the second post we've just created. And if we visit slash key static to see the admin UI, we now have two entries there and surprise, surprise, here's our second post. And let's say in your post, you wanted to add a draft mode feature, maybe a checkbox. Well, take a look at this. In our post collection in the config, I'll add a draft field and you can see all the fields available. I will select checkbox. And let's have the label to draft and let's quickly add a description. Draft posts will not be listed on the home page. And who check it out. We have our checkbox. I will set this second post to draft and save. And if I look at the second post now, you can see we have this draft true property added to the front matter. And so the second post still shows right now, but in our home page, we could filter our post and only keep the ones that are not in draft mode. And you can see the nice TypeScript auto-completion in the process. And so now down here, we can iterate over the published posts instead. And now our homepage, at least, is only showing the posts that are not in draft mode. And that's a mini intro to Keystatic. No database, no worries. And now no boilerplate thanks to the awesome new CLI. If you have any comments or suggestions, hit us up on the GitHub discussions. We'd love to hear from you. Happy coding!